Today's Highlights Eden Edwards and Bularam Stack charge Naza Ray together. Can Sky Brown qualify for both surfing and skateboarding at Paris 2024? Sawyer Lindblad gets a paddling interference at Hurley Pro Sunset Beach. When a boyfriend and girlfriend decide they need a big day out, what could be more fun for a couple than watching your girl get whipped into a 30-footer? Bularam appears to have full faith in Eden since only two weeks ago she paddled into an 8-10 footer at Cloudbreak, pulling up into a gaping barrel. Find out more at tracksmag.com.au Sky Brown can become the first British athlete in more than a century to compete in two different sports at the same Summer Olympics. Brown hasn't qualified for either sport yet, she needs to finish in the top 16 or reach Heat 8, to qualify through the ISA World Surfing Games in Puerto Rico. Find out more at bbc.com sport. During stop number 2 on the championship tour, Californian rookie Sawyer Lindblad was paddling back out into the lineup, and she got in the way of Hawaiian Gabriella Bryan. This, I believe, should be a paddling interference, not a priority interference. Um, that would be a good question. I am not sure on that one to answer you, Kai I'm sorry, but... WSL's Travis Logie further explained the interference and difference between a paddling interference or a non-priority interference. So that interference on Soyla Lindblad was called because she hindered the potential of Gabriella Bryan, really got right in the way. All five judges called it. They didn't think it was intentional, otherwise there would be no harsher punishment. So it's called the interference penalty. Find out more at surfer.com.